Hey guys, this is KD and welcome back to the Smart GP2 tutorial series. As promised in the earlier video, now I'll be showing you how they incorporated the paint application in the Smart GP2. Firstly, I'll be showing you the mini paint and secondly, the paint pro which you can uh, in which you can use uh, multiple colors you can increase the pen size and all those things so starting with uh, mini paint as you can see here uh, the first line is printed in yellow the second and third line is in blue and the last line is in you know magenta or purple i would say so they say touch the screen to begin and touch on the corner to erase screen as simple as that so let's begin I'll be touching anywhere here we go uh, so what I'm using is uh, this is basically just a stylus this is basically a you know permanent uh, marker OHP permanent marker I remove the foam inside it which carries the ink and write it inside the Sun so it doesn't has any ink anymore and this tip is a nice uh, fine tip which you can use with resistive test screens like this so uh, I'm a you know crazy tinkerer, so I keep doing this thing. So coming back to your smart GPU two, uh, this is uh, the screen on which we can touch, and as you can see, there is a line you can draw anything. Oh yeah, boy, this is very smooth. And on this topmost right corner, we have a clear button. So if we touch on it, the whole screen gets erased. As simple as that. Now notice this is the top uh, right corner where the clear button is located so we have to code for these exact coordinates and just think of this clear button as a rectangle so I think so we'll be using something like the rectangular function to incorporate this button dots lines yeah and it's in yellow as simple as that so this is the mini paint let's get to the coding of this thing so coming to your uh, Arduino program uh, here is all those uh, initializations and of our object and all those things oh yeah one more thing in hash defined they have declared the pen size as one size of the drawing pen as simple as that that is the uh, here we go the uh, coming to the void loop we have a point uh, this point shall be the touch user from the interface and that will be the x and y coordinates of the touch user coming to the next line this is lc dot board change that is the board rate of the touch screen set a faster board rate now as i showed you the first thing which you'll be seeing is the mini paint and all those things which are written the first line which shall be in yellow and font size 4 and all those things touch on the corner to erase with uh, magenta color and touch on the screen to begin and all those things so this shall be the our uh, very first screen and as they asked us to touch the screen to begin here is how you accept a point here is how you accept a touch interface from the user inside while loop we have lcd dot touch screen ampersand point equals equals invalid that is wait for a touch on the screen to start so we'll be storing the x and y coordinate inside this point lcd dot erase so after we receive the touch we shall be erasing all these things which have been printed earlier so it's basically very simple and after we erase the touch screen we need to print our clear button which was on the ta top right corner now think of that button as a rectangle and if you want to draw a rectangle you would be needing the coordinates of the top left corner x and y coordinates of the top left corner and x and y coordinates of the bottom right corner this is the x and y x coordinate of the top left y coordinate of the top left x coordinate of the bottom right and y coordinate of the bottom right as simple as that now it shall be selected or deselected that shall be active or inactive okay let's come to the library then you'll come to know what exactly here are the object functions 
smart db reply object so access 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 active and here is the character array so clear we shall be printing clear exactly on top of the button giving it a small delay you know of 50 milliseconds should be fine again uh, infinite void, void loop uh, infinite while loop so if we receive um, you know a touch interface from the user we store it in x and y as simple as that and if the x coordinate is greater than this max underscore and x underscore landscape minus 40 and the y coordinate is smaller than 25 that is if touch on the clear button we erase the whole screen as simple as that so this is the x and y coordinate on where we'll be touching the smart gpu2 that is basically on the clear button so what you are doing is you are basically receiving an x and y coordinate storing it inside the point and point dot x shall be the x coordinate and point dot y shall be the y coordinate so everything appearing inside this small rectangular this small uh, rectangle shall be cleared so if you are touching inside this particular area lcd dot erase you shall be erasing the whole touch screen as simple as that what do we have next lcd dot object button clear and next that is if uh, this shall be the whole of the if part and this shall be the else part okay and what if i don't touch inside the rectangular that is i'm touching on the rest of the screen so i'll be getting the x coordinate i'll be getting the y coordinate my pen size is one so that shall be my radius of the circle here we have declared the pen size to be one so here shall be my radius of the circle because we are using a circle function i want a yellow color and fill it now let's try this with a blue color what do we shall increase let's increase the pen size by one we shall get a nice thicker look and I guess uh, you know give you a recap okay so we have increased the pen size to 2 uh, lc dot in it lc dot start all things remain the same yeah the point uh, for the x and y coordinates of the touch interface touch inputs to be specific okay we'll be printing in yellow these words mini paint in blue these words touch on corner to erase screen in magenta these words touch screen to begin so this shall be your first thing and if we receive a touch input we shall be erasing the whole touch screen and we shall be printing the object button in this particular rectangular field on the touch screen as simple as that next if we touch if we receive a touch we need to store it in the x and y coordinate with the help of this point and if that particular touch lies in this particular rectangle area rectangular area we need to erase the touch screen because my friend you are touching on the clear button next is lc dot object button we have to deselect it which is kind of very simple uh, so here ends the if part else if I am not touching on that particular rectangle, I am touching on the rest of the screen. So we need to draw something, right? So LCD dot draw circle x coordinate y coordinate from the center of the circle, pen size that is the radius blue and fill the circle. As simple as that. Now let's go ahead and run this program, and I'll show you how this thing looks like. So here we go not a bit of change over here i'll be touching over here now if i'm going to touch this shall be blue oh yeah this is blue and if you can see my pen size it's a bit thick thicker than one as simple as that yeah clear 
so that was all about mini paint now uh, next now let's just move to the paint pro application now coming to the paint pro thing uh, if you open the paint pro folder here are the micro hd contents so you will be needing a micro hd card memory card which i'll go on the smart gpu too with only this picture so what you need to you need to do is to copy and here is my micro sd card i'll be pasting this thing right over here as simple as that now i'll show you how to mount the micro sd card on your smart gpu too so here is your smart gpu too and here is your memory card so and this is the memory card slot so how do you open this slot basically you have to just push this slot towards this processor here we go and open the sliding thing please come in my hand quickly okay here we go and this is how you just rest your memory card on those contact pins put this thing over here and pull this casing towards uh, away from the processor as simple as that here we go you have mounted your micro sd card now just mount this thing on your arduino uno and connect this thing to your usb so this was our this was our uh, earlier program now let's go ahead and uh, burn our new program of the paint pro thing let me zoom in so here we go here is our application of the paint pro okay let me focus this thing yeah so as you can see uh, a few advantages over the mini paint the paint pro application has multiple colors you can increase the size of the eraser you can increase the size of the pen and here is the color which you are currently using so as you can see they have incorporate, incorporated a lot of functions the program might be a uh, little bit lengthy and a kind of difficult but uh, i think so i can help you with that so and this is the drawable screen so they have reduced this size of the drawable screen and so this is basically just an overlay image and you shall be choosing this uh, this is a color square so if i touch over here uh, the that particular color gets activated and i'll be painting with the help of that color as simple as that let's choose black here is black uh, let's increase the pen size you know 4x here we go the eraser here is the eraser so explaining this program might take a you know a lot of time so if you know the mini paint very well you can make your own paint pro these are such um, color selections you have to just paint uh, particular squares of these colors and if you touch in that particular area you need to draw circles with that particular color and this particular radius so this is just the draw circle function let's uh, you know increase this size i'll show you the difference between the different pen sizes 8 okay here is one let's see black this is pen size one let's double it this is pen size two pen size four and this is pen size eight as simple as that change to red this is pen size 8 of the color red and if you want to erase you 
need to erase this thing with the white color because obviously your canvas is white so you will be drawing circles of white color so we'll be using the draw circle function as simple as that so if you have uh, i repeat that uh, my earlier sentence again if you have understood mini paint this thing right here is kind of very easy because this is just a bmp image you can also use a jpg image which is of the resolution 320 by 240 and it's uh, kind of easy to do the rest of the things yeah the fluidity is very nice when you use pen size 8 yeah, okay yeah. and if you click here the whole thing get erased it is as simple as that so this is the paint pro and for using the paint pro you need your memory card it is a micro sd card as simple as that so these are the paint and paint pro applications uh, these applications should uh, you know uh, look pretty nice on the larger touch screens with the 3.5 inch and the, the larger one which we are sending now so that's all about mini paint and paint pro take a look at this uh, program it's kind of very simple and you can modify this program very easily so that's all for this tutorial thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and if you have any doubts you can leave it in the comments